to go from a healthy boy to like his liver was shutting down. This can happen and it can happen to your child. It could happen to anyone's child. What if I wasn't a match? Working on the multi-organ transplant unit is super rewarding. Uh, you get to see kids all along the continuum of health. You get to see kids who are sick and who need a transplant. You get to see kids and families during that very difficult but incredible time of when they get an organ transplantation. And then you get to see kids recover from that organ and, and see the benefits that it can can bring and really that it's life-saving and life-changing. I just love watching the kids journey like I always say it's such a privilege to be part of their journey and see parts of it that maybe even like their close family and friends don't get to witness. Just having the privilege to really see the gift of life like that is truly what transplant is is the gift of life for these kids. I mean I think in the transplant program, we are sort of their person. We're their touch point. You know, the, the doctors change from week to week, the fellows change from month to month, um, but the constant person is always going to be your nurses. And so we end up becoming their support person, their first line of contact. Their, sometimes we call it their 911. I, I worry less because I know I have these nurses behind who are going to take care of us. And so it's sort of like, tell me what I need to know when I need to know it. They've got us. And that as a mother is like security. It's the best thing in the world. So I'm a charge nurse on 6A, which is the multi-organ transplant inpatient unit. Some children we know almost from birth that they're going to need an organ transplantation and those kids may be hospitalized to start the organ assessment process. Sometimes kids come in who are previously healthy uh, and they've become very sick and they also need to be worked up for a transplant assessment. Once a child is listed, sometimes they're too sick to be at home while they're waiting for an organ donation and some of those kids will stay with us for months at a time while they wait for an organ to be available for them. I work in pre and post transplant. Uh, so I get to work with the patients while we're working them up for their kidney transplant and then I follow them after as well. We do um, a lot of organizing of getting them ready for all the consults are going to need, procedures are going to need, getting all of that sorted and worked out. We also do a number of hours of teaching with the family and the patient. So what's this journey going to be like? Who are you going to meet? What tests are you going to have? What procedures are you going to have? what's going to happen at the time of transplant or if you're waiting on the wait list versus if you have a living donor. You know, a lot of this was happening incredibly quickly for us. We didn't have time to process. You know, we had these nurses sitting down with us and explaining what had happened and what was going to happen next for the long term. Like all of a sudden my son had a transplant. It was big. Um, and just the time, even now we're, you know, almost a year and a half post-op. They care so much about us. They care so much about me. And so when I have questions, if I'm afraid of things, if fears start to come up, they, they take the time, they walk me through it. For sure the child is our focus, but definitely the family as well. The parents have a ton of questions. Obviously they're very nervous and excited at the same time and stressed and scared. So the nursing role really does focus on the whole family as well as the child. Working with the family is it's such a roller coaster. There's so many emotions. And you know, I think what's unique about our program is our families have known us for years. Having that relationship and remembering their journey that they went on with them and getting to watch them grow and thrive and become everything they wanted to be when they were so very, very sick. I think it's just seeing them be able to get back into being regular kids, be with their friends, go to school, have their first sleepover maybe, and helping them through that, helping their parents through that as well. As they get better, we get to see them become more like themselves, more like kids and, and the parents. It's really amazing for them to see their kids change too. All of the nurses, all of the teams, the aftercare, um, it's next level. It's so reassuring, it's so human, and it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm.